to studio with Mrs. Labka. We're going to continue working on our Kiono Bori fish today. So for our Kiono Bori fish, today we're going to start adding the fins of the Kiono Bori fish. And sometimes in Japan, children like to add long streamers to their Kiono Bori fish's tails so they're swishy and look really cool and colorful in the wind. So let's get started. If you're in the classroom, we will have picked out three different streamer colors that you want to use for the tail of your fish. If you're at home, you can make your own streamers by cutting some pieces of paper into long strips and coloring each of these pieces of paper a different color. And that's going to make a really nice swishy tail. You could color these with any materials you have at home. If you're at home, you're going to want to turn your flat fish into a 3D or round fish, just like our Kionobori fish that we see from Japan. So they should make a circle at the top for their mouth. So you may need to ask an adult at home for help. So we're gonna roll our fish into a tube like this, so it should look like a paper towel tube, just like that. And I'm gonna use a stapler. If you have a stapler at home, that would be helpful, but if you don't, a piece of tape will work just fine. So I'm gonna sneak my stapler in here and staple my fish together. So I've got the top together. Now it looks like the O mouth that we see on our Kionobori fish from Japan. And then I'm gonna do the same on the back. Stapling or tape works just fine. Now our fish is starting to look like a kite where the wind or air can fly through and make the tails wave in the wind. Now we need to add our tails. If you're at home, you created your tails using strips of paper and coloring them in any color that you like with whatever materials you have. In the classroom, we are using streamers. If you have some party streamers at home, you could use those if you have strings at home, like from sewing or yarn or friendship bracelet string, any of those things will work. You can attach anything you want to your fish. So I just stapled my streamers in there. You could also use tape if you have tape at home. You could glue if you needed to. It would just take longer to dry, but now I've got my streamers on there. Now the last thing that we're going to attach onto our Kionobori fish is, or are, some fins. So you can see that these fish have little fins on the top and these ones have little fish or fins on the side. So we're gonna attach some fins to our fish. Now, if you're at home, you might use little scraps of paper to create your fins like this. Or if you're in the classroom, we're gonna snip off from the bottom of our streamers to create two little streamer fins that look like that. And we're gonna use our glue stick, but if you're at home, tape works fine or a little um, drop of glue works fine too. So I'm gonna put my fins on the side. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue there. And I'm just going to glue down the top of my streamer because he needs to be able to flap his fins to swim in the air. So there's one. And then on the other side, make sure I line it up, put a little bit of glue, and then I'll stick my other streamer on there too. All right, there we go. Now he's got his fins. Now, if you want to be just, if you want to hang your Kionobori fish, just like we see in Japan, you might need a string to hang it on a stick, or you could add it to the end of a stick like this young man did in Japan. We're gonna wanna add a string to the top of our Kionobori fish. So if you're in the classroom with me, I'm gonna hole punch your fish and give you a piece of yarn so that you can attach a little string. But if you're at home, you may have to ask an adult to help you cut a hole with some scissors maybe and find a piece of string or something similar to attach to your fish. Now that part is optional, but now I could hang this anywhere that I want. All right, so now our Kionobori fish is done. I think we should hang them up. What do you guys think? Our friends who are at home, I wonder where are you gonna hang up your fish? We would love to see pictures of where you hung your fish. It could be somewhere on your front porch or on your bedroom or your kitchen, anywhere you like. On our Schoology page, we have our, um, our class gallery where you can take pictures and share with the class your Kionobori fish you made and where you hung it. 
I can't wait to see you guys again, and I hope you had fun making your Kiona Boy fish. Happy Children's Day, everybody.